Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about five signs that it's not time to give up on your relationship yet. And so if this is your first time to my channel, please make sure you go and hit the subscribe button and let's get started. So if you're in a relationship and it's kind of getting to the verge of where maybe you guys are breaking up or you're thinking about breaking up and you're not really sure whether you should or not, um, here are five things to think about uh, to determine whether you should or not. So the first one is that um, the idea of you two staying together still brings you joy. Um, so if you know you think about him and you think about being together and you want it to work out, um, then that's a that's a good sign that maybe it's not really time to break up yet. Typically, when it is a good time to break up is when you look at each other and, and you just can't stand to be with each other and you can't think of um, having a good relationship with each other anymore. The second sign to look out for is that there's no real main reason why you should break up. So if there's no deal breakers there and it's just like, oh, we're frustrated, we're angry at each other, um, and, and it's not like there's some real significant reason why you'd be breaking up with each other. That might be a good sign that it's not it, you know that that your relationship is salvageable. That there's uh, something more that you guys uh, can create there, and you guys can get back on track and have a real relationship again. So the third sign to look out for is um, still still having empathy for each other. So still being able to empathize with with each other's points of view. Um, so what typically happens in a breakup when it's kind of meant to happen, when, when it's time to kind of let go and move forward, is that you guys can't even see each other's perspectives anymore. And so if you're still able to uh, really empathize with each other and look at each other and share each other's points of view, then that, um, that, that's another sign that maybe it's, it's not time to break up. The fourth sign that you want to look for is that your partner is putting forth real effort to change things. Um, so if you're in a relationship with a guy and, um, you know, he's, and you've, uh, expressed these real concerns that you have and he's not trying to do anything about it. He's not trying to change things. He's not trying to fix himself or, or, uh, fix the way that he's doing things. Um, that's a really bad sign. Whereas if he's, he's actually putting in effort, you know, sometimes change takes a long time, especially with most people, you know, uh, people, uh, there's, there's a saying out there that people can't change. I don't believe that at all. Um, I do believe it's hard to change. It's very hard to change, especially with habits that have been, uh, ingrained in you for a long time. But, um, the entire premise of everything that, that I do is that change is not only possible, but it's healthy, you know, uh, personal growth is healthy. We're all grow. We're either growing or we're dying. Um, and if he's trying to put in effort to, to grow and change and become a better man, then that's a great sign that, you know, maybe it's not time to give up on him yet. And the fifth sign that you're going to want to look for is that, um, neither of you really want the relationship to end, but maybe you're facing pressure from the outside. Maybe people are telling you that, uh, you, you should stop dating him. Um, you know, th there's, especially from loved ones, it's one of those things where if you're in a weird situation and they see that you're in a weird situation, a lot of times, because they're not invested in the relationship, they, they haven't been a part of it. A lot of times they'll look at it and be like, just get rid of them, you know, uh, get out of that relationship. Cause it's, it's one of those things, especially in today's society, a lot of people are just, it's like, it's all about giving up. It's all about letting go, throwing that person away and going, finding another person. And, and I think it's really, really unhealthy. I think, um, we would be, we would do really great as a, as a culture and a society if we stopped just giving up on each other all the time. And we started actually finding ways to grow and and connect with each other better and staying in these relationships that we're in. And, and that's, you know, saying that 
um, assuming that there's nothing, there's no deal breakers there, that it's not an abusive relationship, and that there's real change that's going on. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.